Hi friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBot143. In my previous tutorial, I have shown how to install and configure Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Edition. In this tutorial, I will show how to install Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server installation. Before proceeding, we have to set a static IP address for server. Just right click Open Network Sharing Center. And come to change adapter settings. Here, right click and come to properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 properties. And please use the static IP address. I have chosen 192.168.0.10 as static IP address for the server. And default gateway is 192.168.0.1. And DNS server is just same as server IP address. After that, click on OK. Close this. Close this. Now, to install Active Directory Domain Services, we have to click on Add Roles and Features. You can also get this option from Manage. Select Add Roles and Features. And here, before you begin, we have to verify that administrator account has a strong password, network settings such as static IP address are configured, the most current security updates from Windows update are installed, and after that, just click on Next. And here, please select Role-based or Feature-based installation. Next. And we have to select a server from the server pool and here it is displaying my server 192.168.0.10 next and please select active directory domain services if you select that it will open additional features we have to include all these elements add features click on next and click on next next and please select restart the destination server automatically if it requires yes and after that it is showing the complete summary about our installation. If you want to modify any settings, you can click here, previous, and go back to there and make your changes. After that, click on install. Configuration required and installation succeeded on the server. Click on close and after this you will get a notification. Click here and please select promote the server to a domain controller. And select the deployment operation. Here I want to add a new forest and please enter the domain name I'm selecting officenet.com you can select whatever domain you want to keep it and after that click on next Here it is showing the forest functional level Windows Server 2012 R2 and domain functional level Windows Server 2012 R2 and if you want to add 2008 
server in the future please select 2008 windows server otherwise you can select windows server 2001 r2 and specify the domain control capabilities dns server default it will give and type the direct service restore more password Now the password must consist of capital letters, small letters, and special characters. And after that, click on next and click on next. You will get the NetBass domain name. Just keep it as default. If you want, you can change this. After that, next. And here, it is showing the database folder, log files folder, syswall folder. It is better to not to change this. After that, click on next. And here, completely, it will review our selections. If you want to modify, you can go to previous and make the necessary changes. And after that, come to here, click on next. And here I got that all the prerequisite checks passed successfully. Click install to begin installation. If you got any red notification, then something went wrong. So you go back and make the necessary changes. After that, click on install. You are about to be signed out. Use this. And the server was successfully configured as a domain controller. Close. After restart. And here you can observe the domain name. And enter the password. Now come to tools and here you can find the Active Directory domain services files and please open Active Directory users and computers and here you can find your domain name. So like this we can install Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server in Windows Server 2012 R2 standard version. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBird 143 to watch more latest updated videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.